my channel so today I'm going to show you guys how to catfish people how to move from nay to yay you get it so I've already done my eyebrows and I've primed my eyelids already so I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow and then with I'm going in with my cacao shade with this fluffy brush and I'm using that on my crease area my outer V into my crease area it's actually a two-step eyeshadow routine though And I'm packing it more on the outer V area. The next step to do is to go in with my glitter, and I'm going in with this shade right here from my Kairos Cosmetic Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm placing that all over my eyelid, just from the inner part of the lid to the middle part of the lid. You say make a whole tight. Now she said she won't give me she that. She give me African waist like T.Y. Uh, she won't give me that work like Rihanna. Yeah. That's it for the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go on and apply my eyelashes from Annie's Beauty. So I've already primed my face with my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, and I went ahead and applied my Philips Milk of Magnesia, the original one, which is sugar free. So if you're going to use any Milk of Magnesia, try and get the Philips one because it's sugar free and it's good for the face as well. So. Um, the next step to do is to go in with my foundation and I'm using my priority foundation. I'm just going to start blending everything in. And I'm using my Colorbox Beauty Blender. My phone concealer I've already deported it into a container like this because I want my concealers to be very very um, a little bit solid not liquidy if you get what I mean so I already deported my phone concealers I've deported all my concealers into containers already though it makes it look very very creamy and just soft at the same time just concealed my under eye and now to brighten my under eye a little bit more I've poured my porcelain shade and full tan together into this container and I'm going to pick a little bit of it because it's a little bit white just to brighten the under eyes more that's because we want to catfish people, so the more reason I'm doing all these steps. And I'm going back in with um, my beauty blender where I applied my foundation just to blend the ends of my concealed area as well so they don't look harsh like how you can see the demarcation between this and this place so i'm setting my under eyes with that shade from Maybelline all clear smooth powder and I'm using my color box buffing brush I'm applying that I'm setting the rest of my face where I apply my foundation So I'm going to let the baking sit for a little bit and then I'll be right back. So I'm going ahead with my caramel shade again and I'm dusting away all the baking powder. So now for blush, I'm going in with my Inglot palette the shade right here and for 
contour I'm going in with the cacao shade again Shade right here for my under eye. I'm going to set all of this using my Looks Organics Hydrating Rose Water and Mist Spray. I keep getting questions on the main use of these two particular products. That is the BTS Hydrating Rose Water and also the Looks Artistry. The looks organic hydrating rose water they both are mist and toners that means you can use them as your toners and you can use them to set your makeup and that means to get rid of the powdery look that you have on your face after you do the makeup after you apply the powder it helps to get rid of the powdery look on your face and it also helps to make the makeup last longer so that those are the uses of these two products right here so for highlighter, I've decided to go in with this shade right here, the one above here, and I'm using my color box highlighter brush. Next step is lips, and for lips, I got this mini wrap palette, mini wrap set from Evita Joseph. As you can see, it's, it's an abundant enough filled it with a bunch of my lipsticks so I'm going to line my lips first with this wood lip liner this is how the wrap looks like though. this is how it looks like it's handy and it's good to go out with anytime I'm going in with my lip tendon lipstick in the shade Anaji from Evita Joseph. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you liked the video and you enjoyed watching me catfish people. So um, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you care. And give your girls a big thumbs up. Seriously, give your girl a big thumbs up. And we've reached 300 subscribers. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers for subscribing to my channel and for enjoying all that I put up and for you know everything that I do. I appreciate all of you so, 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 so much. Thank you so much. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, she didn't make one stand no vision. I'm back at Uncle's.